In separate news conferences, Lou Leon Guerrero and Carl Gutierrez discussed what they will focus on in the first days of their administrations. Leon Guerrero says strengthening tax collection would be one of the first things she'd do. We are going to form a tax recovery unit headed by an attorney general who's going to be housed in the Department of Revenue and Tax so that they can guide us on the legal issues we are also going to use experts in taxes, auditors, investigators, those people that can monitor exactly how much we're taking in or even monitor who's not paying their taxes. We are going to increase and improve technology and modernize Department of Revenue and Tax. Former Governor Gutierrez says one of the first things he would do is create a local war claims commission, and since it would be funded by Section 30 money that's due Guam anyway, he would make everyone impacted by the war a potential claimant. And for them to be ignored, their families, their children, grandchildren are hurt this time that, that those people are not going to be recognized and, and paid. So I'm saying since it's our money that we're paying the people of Guam under that federal law. I say that as governor of Guam, and I've asked Governor Kabul to, since, since uh, six months ago, to please do something about setting up a local commission for war reparations, dust off that list at Mark at the Department of Interior, and so that we can make right to those people that have been, have been dead and gone. Boosting the economy is also high on Leon Guerrero's list. The Bank of Guam president wants to take advantage of program incentives from Washington. We will make it a priority to aggressively attract new investment for the 25 opportunity zones established on Guam by the federal government. As someone who has led a successful financial industry over the last 10 years, I know what needs to be done to tap the estimated $6 trillion in available investment that has opened up to these opportunity zones and bring that money into Guam's economy. Another Guterres priority is fixing the hospital and its chronic budget shortfalls. He'd place control of GMH directly under him. There's no business on this earth that's going to be successful if you're giving away, uh, you know, 30% of your product for free. So I'm saying that we must get away from the finger pointing. The governor of Guam has, has full authority of the health care of the island of Guam, the Guam Memorial Hospital. First thing we would do is to go in there and take over the Guam Memorial Hospital from the governor's office and uh, treat it as a line agency. Two others are vying for the Democratic gubernatorial nomination, Senators Frank Uggen Jr. and Dennis Rodriguez. For this week's Decision Watch, I'm Nestor Leconto.